Drop pop. Be be king. Get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown. All right, family. Got some history for y'all today. Got some history for y'all today. Now, uh, make sure you go over there to the throne of King Ja Power and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe right here on King Ja Power. And don't forget to hit them notification bells. All right? So you can get them videos. Now, uh, the other day on the throne, which I had it coming over here, but then at the last minute I rerouted it to the throne, I did a video called The Search for the Messiah. You know, where we dove deep into, you know, the search for the Messiah. Because from the beginning of time, okay, man been searching for the Messiah. You see what I'm saying? And I went into Jesus, Buddha, uh, Osiris, Haru, Ptah. You see what I'm saying? Even, you know, uh, uh, modern day messiahs, M Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. You see what I'm saying? Elijah Muhammad. You see what I'm saying? I went into all of these. I'm talking about everyone you could think of, I went into. Dr. York. You see what I'm saying? And and I went into all these different people. And one thing that I noticed that they all had in common, at some point in their life, they was ridiculed. You see what I'm saying? They was ridiculed and their life was in danger. That's one thing that I noticed that the search for the Messiah showed me. Now, the video was about, it's about an hour and some change long. You know what I'm saying? About an hour and five minutes or something like that, 10 minutes. But you need to go over there and watch this video, okay? And, you know, these was a couple of things that I actually left out. Then I said, I'm going to bring it over here, the king's job power. And I actually got a few slides for y'all. And so, today's video is called, You Are the Messiah, Okay? You are the Messiah. All right. Again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Now, uh, 5,000 years ago, and they, they, this is a conservative day. You see, you had the God harvest. You see what I'm saying? We got to go back down, you know, and, and get into this. So I, I really want y'all to go over there and watch that video. Okay. But 5,000 years ago, you had Horus, the Christ child, the one. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Messiah that came forth over 5,000 years ago that was born of a virgin birth in a star in the east, walked on water, healed the sick, restored sight, was crucified, dead for three days, and resurrected. Okay? Now, I did a video in that video I'm telling y'all about the search for the Messiah. I also show a science called typology. Typology is when you take an old story and you remix it. And you remix it. Okay? And so this is what this is. Before the African had the thought of the creating of a God. Nobody in the world else in the world had it, okay? Nobody else in the world had it, all right? And so, you look down to Mithra. So, which is Greek, Greco-Roman, 3,200 years ago. Born of a virgin birth, the same thing, this typology now. Born of a virgin birth, born in the symbol in the star in the east, had 12 disciples, performed miracles, dead for three days, and resurrect, okay? So you can't create a story out of a story and then, you know, say you the originator of it. Then you look at Krishna over in India, you know what I mean? 2,900 years ago, born of a virgin birth to a star in the east, performed miracles, called son of God, son of a carpenter, and was resurrected, okay? And then you look right here at Dionysus, same thing. 2,500 years ago, born of a virgin birth, born in December, traveled as a, a teacher, uh, uh, turned water into wine, called the Holy Child, okay? So this is uh, different renditions of the same story, okay? And then you get down to here to y'all beloved Jesus. 2,000 years ago, uh, interesting in what we 
can learn through history when we uh put on the blinders of indoctrination and they've been removed. So some people have woke up. So Jesus the same thing, born of a virgin birth in December, okay, to the star in the east, not the west, to the star in the east, okay, for y'all to think that Jesus is American. You see what I'm saying? They got black people out here thinking Jesus is American or whatnot. And travel as a teacher called the Holy Child. All the same attributes of the original. Horace. So what did they do? What is this saying? This saying that people done took the ancient African story and remixed it and put their face on it. Okay? And so we can't be believing, looking for the Messiah in the sky, like something going to come down and rescue us from our uh, enslavement, you see. It's in us, which I'm going to show in a minute. Like I said, I got a few slides, see, but I got to set the premise with history, okay? I got to set the premise with history. So y'all see right there how all the gods came from other gods. You see what I'm saying? Which is other people taking the original blueprint, the ancient African blueprint, and remixing it. Breaking it down until they like it. But you had to keep the story the same or the same attributes. Okay? The same attributes where you give typology is where you get attributes from one uh, character to another character. In this case, it went from Horus to Mithra to Krishna all the way down to Jesus. See what I'm saying? It's not a real character. It's a created one. See what I'm saying? And it's more literature proving that this is just a character. Okay? That it's just a, uh, a, uh, uh. what am I trying to say? It's proving that these are characters made out of that one character. See, Horus is the one. Like they were saying in the Matrix. The one. That's Horus. See? It's the same thing. They put it in the movies, but sometimes when we look at it, it's hard for us to realize it when you don't know history. You see what I'm saying? So, the word Horus, when it's translated into Latin, is hero. So, the hero come from the word Horus, where in the story he avenged his father's death from his evil uncle Seth. And they play this in Superman and different movies that they use in Hollywood. They use this as the original plot where the son was young and the daddy was murdered and the mama teach them about who done who who and how his mother get killed and then when he get I mean his father get killed and then when he get grown he go avenge his father's death. You see they use that in thousands of scripts. Okay? And so this is what this story is. It's been told over and over and over and over and over for over five thousand years. Okay? And so you no know, what you got is the remix. Alright? Let me pull this down. Like this video, family. Boom. So these is the men that made religion. <laughs> these is the men that made religion. John Smith. Let's see what he created. He created baptism in 1608. Okay. So John the Baptist. Okay. John, a man named John Smith. A slave owner. Okay, created baptism. And most black churches are black uh, uh, are Baptist. Okay, are Baptist. Then you got Charles Parham created the Pentecostal religion. Okay. In 1901. Okay. And so you got black people that's even in Pentecostal. Black people is in every religion in the world. 
okay? And and they do more to take up for it than the people that create it, okay? These are modern men. This is what's created in modern time. They didn't uh, create books into the printing press. I mean, and that's just real, okay? And so you got right here, Joseph Smith created the Mormon, and I'm going to get back to that in a minute, created the printing press. I'm going to get back to that in a minute. The Mormons was created religion in 1830. So the Mormon religion was created by Joseph Smith over there in Utah, and a black man helped him make it to Utah from the east. So they went from, you know, New England, uh, uh, Maine type area and pushed their way west with the help of their African slaves. That's just real. And so the Mormons uh, was created in 1830. Now, Charles Taz Russell created the Jehovah's Witness religion in 1872. These are the men that created the thing that y'all believe in. These are the people. That's why I showed y'all that first slide. These are the people and you know that created the religions that y'all believe in. Okay? See? They went and took the horror story and could put it into their own from the Septuagint, the Greek, and it went on down and down and down until you got it in a modern day form. All right. So the Jehovah's Witness was created by Charles Taz Russell in 1872. Now, William Miller created the Seven Day Adventist religion in 1863. All right. So Seven Day Adventist, black people is, is in that which was created by, you know, a people that's not us. That just real. That 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 just real. They just done took pieces of the ancient Egyptian religion, the ancient African religion, and turned it into their own and told you that you ain't have nothing. That that that's just what they done. That just that just what they done. And so the origin of Egyptology and the and mean which is a science to explain a way that these great, great African ancestors are not African, are not black. That's all Egyptology is, to try to explain the way that the ancient Egyptians are not Africans. You see what I'm saying? That's what they try to do. Even though over the years they have finally had to admit they are Africans. But you know what they say? They say they're Africans, but they was not civilized. Like a civil, uncivilized people going to be able to build the type of, not just pyramids, but the type of civilization, the type of structure, the type of me metropolitan and metropolis areas that they built. See what I'm saying? You talk about modern cities built 10,000 years ago. Okay. You got worlds on top of worlds. Okay. And so that's all Egyptology is. They done created a science on the ancient African in order to control the narrative that's coming out. And so Egyptology is also another religion. You see what I'm saying? You know, Dr. Ben, when he went into Egyptology, them people was clowning him. You see what I'm saying? And he was over there as a young man and he worked his way up until he was digging in the temples his own self with his own archaeologist team and bringing us the information in the West. That's just real. Okay? But Champollion is the origin of Egyptology to explain the way the African origins. Okay? So now, again, like this video, family. You are the Messiah. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Let me, what's this right here? Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. See, jumping around. <laughs> All right. Now, so we over here in the West don't realize the Messiah is not going to manifest here. It's not going to manifest here. You see what I'm saying? Especially when we in the clutches of the beast. I'm just being real because if he did manifest in the West, y'all wouldn't do nothing but ridicule. Y'all wouldn't do nothing. Once he get to a certain height, his life will be threatened. 
See what I'm saying? When the Messiah come, he, you know, for some people, most people, 99% of the population is blind. They couldn't see a Messiah because he ain't going to come in the form that you think he is. He ain't going to come with diamonds on his teeth. Okay? He not going to come singing a rap song. Okay? He not going to come hating on his own people. He going to come, you know, from a standpoint of love. But he might come, you know, as a bomb. She, it might come as a prostitute. It might come as a drug dealer. It might come, you know, it's going to come from the meat. It's, it's not going to come from the people that y'all thinking. Y'all believe in all these celebrities or whatnot. But, it, you know, your uprising is not going to come from them. It's going to come from inside of you. It's going to come from the poor people. It's going to come for them not, the have-nots. It's going to come from the have-nots. That's just real. And so, the, again, what do y'all do to have-nots? People ain't got it. Y'all ridicule them. That's just real. Y'all ridicule them. All right? Now, let me read this. The beast arises from the sea. Uh-huh. Has ten horns and many heads. One of his heads have received a mortal wound that is tended that that is then headed. All right. The entire world follows the beast. All right. The beast makes war on saints. Okay. On saints. The messiahs. Okay. They like being dangerous. The beast makes war on the saints and conquers them. It has power all over the nations of the earth, exploiting the nations of the world economically and demanding to be worshipped. Okay, so what do y'all do? Y'all worship the beast. Y'all worship the image. Y'all worship the image of the people that have had us enslaved. Okay, you worship them people. They're just real. You worship them people. See what I'm saying? You, you know, if one of them was, you know, to stand up and just, you know, put a robe on or whatever, black people will swear that's the Messiah. You see what I'm saying? And that's throughout the whole world. It ain't just America, but I know the mind of the American believe in that white Messiah. You see what I'm saying? That's what they believe in. That's just real. Even if it's black, though, what does it say? The beast will make war on all the saints and conquer them. It has power all over all the nations of the earth, exploiting the nations of the world economically and de demanding to be worshipped. Okay? And so that's saying that the ones that we worship is the beast. The majority of the world worship the beast. That's just real. That's just real. That's just real. I was going to do uh, the two videos today, but I thought I would just bring two into one and bring y'all this quick video. Now, follow me now because we ain't done. Now, look. I got to go to another slide. Hold up. Boom. So we go right here. Boom. Look. So... How long will you judge the unjustly and show partially to the wicked? Uh-huh. How long will you judge unjustly and show partially to the wicked? I said, you are gods and all you are the sons of the most high. Nevertheless, you will die like men and fall like any one of the princes. Psalms 82 and 2, 6 and 7. Okay, now, what is that saying? Okay, as long as you will be judged unjustly, okay, let's deal with that. As long as you have been judged unjustly, the Messiah will come from the people that's being judged unjustly. Okay, from the poor, from the meek, from the have not, all right, and show partly to the wicked. Now, 
you know, we attached to this system, okay? We attached to this system. So if, if, if it is a Messiah, he can be corrupted, okay, through the wickedness of this system. See, if y'all ain't listening to these Messiahs, some of them go bad. Some of them go evil. You see what I'm saying? Because this is what this is about. A war over good and evil. I still might do this other video I got in the stash for y'all today too. Okay? I said, ye are gods. What are they saying? And you shall be the sons of the most high. So, we are products of the creator. Okay? Because some people will uh, say Jesus. Some people will say Allah. Some people will say uh, 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 Jehovah. You see what I'm saying? We'll say all of these different names, all right? And then, you know, we don't understand that those are different chronological times in history. Those are different times in the timeline in history with different cultures, different societies, different kingdoms, different uh, regions, or, you know, at that time, you know, land, a people will worship these certain gods. So you can't just say, oh man, uh, no matter the name, whatever you call it or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's only half the truth though. You see what I'm saying? We got to realize that, yeah, they talking about, but these are different gods because when they show the images from the ancient world, they are different people. Even when you go to Gilgamesh over there and, and Sumer, we're going to have to do something on the, uh, uh, Sumeria too but even when you go there you know whether you go to today with American Jesus you see what I'm saying it's all a typology it's all different points in time in history the way y'all worshiping Jesus today and see Jesus today ain't the way he was uh, uh, when you go look at the history the man was a revolutionary he did the exact same thing that Martin Luther King and Malcolm X then was doing he was going against the system all right he was going against the system that's just real all right now let me keep going it is not written in your law i said ye are gods john 10 and 34 now not only have the characters in religion been replaced with other images all right so have the books. So have the scrolls. These scrolls were written in the uh, coming forth by day and night. All right. These were written in the coming forth by day, day and night. All right. Just like saying, know thyself. See, the spirit of God ain't just, you know, superpowers like the X-Men. It ain't just that. Them are the demigods in which I broke down. In the search for the Messiah. Again, go over there and watch that video. See what I'm saying? It's certain attributes that they have that just like those superpowers. You see what I'm saying? What they're being able to galvanize the people. What they're being able to strategize and plan. You see what I'm saying? Them is the type of people that's, you know, messiahs. You see, or at the very least, least uh, messages and prophets. Okay? But a lot of those times when those messages and prophets come, they like be in danger. What am I saying? Anytime one of them coming and we recognize one, you see what I'm saying? We're going to have to put major protection around the man. You can't lock up the Messiah. You see what I'm saying? You can't let them lock up your Messiah or kill him or nothing. Okay? That's why the energy is saying it's all of us. You see what I'm saying? Because he can't kill everybody. You see what I'm saying? But if all of us had that leadership mentality like that, then we can make this manifest instead of just waiting on one person to stand up and say, I'm the Messiah. And you see what it say. It say the beast going to come and, 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 and take out and kill and conquer all the Messiahs. You see what I'm saying? If you identify one, you see what I'm saying? So we can't be looking in the sky all the time and, and, and waiting on somebody to come. Now, Psalms 82 and 6, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. See what I'm saying? We ain't saying, you know, when we say we the gods, we ain't saying we the ones created the moon, stars, and planet. But 
we are a part of the moon, stars, and planet. Black people, which was created first. So we are part of the cosmos. We are part of the heavens. We are part of the most high. We are his visible image on the planet. You see what I'm saying? That's why God will have to be a melanated being. Okay? That's why God will have to be black. Okay? He will have to be. Because why would, in other words, he would make something else other than his own image. When we know the book say we are made of the Im out of the image of the most high. Okay? So right there, 82 and 6 right there in Psalm. See, we children of the most high. We children of the the ancient ones, we children of the the, the, the ancient of time. All right, so yeah, that was the last one right there, family. Man, hey, go over there to the throne of King Jah Power. Make sure you go over there and watch that video. I did not intend to be on here this long, but I do it for y'all, though. See what I'm saying? I do it for y'all, dudes, though. But, you know, make sure you go over there and watch on the King of uh, throne of King Jah Power. Go over there and watch the search for the Messiah. Okay, go over there and watch that video because I bust it down even now into modern time. You see what I'm saying? And how their histories even broke down. And you know, what was they fall? See what I'm saying? How did they fall in the midst of the search for the Messiah? Because, you know, we still searching when we really should be looking inside ourselves. All right, family. I'm gone. I'm about to go over here and get on the throne. Got to go over there. That's my main channel. Make sure y'all come over there and meet me. We got the elders over there on the mic. I'm on the mic. You see what I'm saying? I got a live stream coming over there too. Very, very soon. So make sure you go over there and subscribe. Jump out. B, B, King. Get free or die. Heavy is the head with a crime.